I remember many great moments with my brother over the years. Due to dad's employment, we were fortunate enough to get to travel extensively throughout our lives. Lauren lived a very full life. At 41 years of age, he did more, more than most people would do in 10 lifetimes. Just to mention a few of the great stories that I have with Lauren, and bear with me, this will take a few minutes. These are just a couple that really stood out. The first one being the winter of, I was believing my junior year in high school, I was living in Germany with mom and dad, and Lauren had come over to visit us. And he decided that he was going to go as a counselor on a ski trip for a group called Club Beyond that I was a part of. And uh, everybody knew that, I mean, and most of you in here know that Lauren loved to ski. We all loved to ski. We grew up skiing. And because of where we lived, we got the opportunity to ski some of the greatest places in the world. And I'll never forget, Lauren and I were trying to hot dog it and show off. And we... Uh, Kept looking. We were actually skiing in a, in a resort that was just to the south of Zermatt, Switzerland. And we had the Matterhorn in the background. And Lauren and I were like, man, we got to find a double jump somewhere where we can come off and pull a couple of 360s side by side and have people get pictures of us. You know, it'd be so cool. And we're skiing around. And uh, we come down through this big bowl. And all of our friends that, skied with, or that were skiing with me, none of them really could catch up or keep up with Lauren and I. And so they kind of went down this ridge, and we saw two tracks that came down through this bowl and up the other side of the ridge. And I looked at Lauren, and I said, that's it. That's our jump. And Lauren's like, well, get on it. Let's see what it'll do. And so I don't know. I mean, we were a couple hundred yards up the bowl, and I just tucked it. Got in my tuck, and I'm just flying. And Lauren stayed behind. And he was watching, and I'm getting to the bottom of it, and I'm thinking, okay. We got plenty of speed. This is going to work out great. Well, the next thing I knew, I was looking down on the ridge, and all of our friends were standing there looking up like this. And uh, Lauren said the next thing he knew, he saw me disappear the other side of the ridge. I, well, we had enough speed, and I went clear across and down the other side. And for me, it was one of those Charlie Brown wipeouts. You hit in skis, poles, everything went everywhere. And Lauren said he just thought, oh, wow. And I'll never forget, as I'm packing up all my gear and I'm trying to hike back up out of this ravine, and uh, I'm walking up, and I no more get up. Then all of a sudden, and, and oh, God forgive me, all I hear is this, oh, shh. And I look up just in time to watch Lauren go sailing right over the top of me. <laughs> and he's just, you know, he's doing one of these numbers. And uh, those of you who ski, you know what I'm talking about when you're like, oh, you know, and he's just flying. And he hit, and it was kind of the same thing. But I'll just never forget that, because that was always Lauren and I's joke to one another that that was the most air we'd ever caught off a of ski jump in our entire lives. And Lauren and I caught some big air in our lives. Um... Another memory that I have of Lauren that is one of the greatest memories I have also, and it was just a, a great time, and this is when we were still in Germany. Lauren had gone back to work for Dad, and uh, I was coming home from my first semester at BSU to spend Christmas, and, and you'll see in some of the slideshows that'll, that'll come up here, uh, Lauren had special ordered a brand new red convertible BMW. And uh, I showed up in Germany, and he and I crawled on the plane, or crawled on the train from, I think it was Frankfurt or Hanau. I'm not sure where we got on, but we took the we took the train right to Munich, right directly to the BMW factory, and we drove out this most beautiful little red convertible BMW. And uh, I mean, he had custom ordered it with tan leather interior and the hard top and soft top and. It was just one of those great times that Lauren and I got to spend together. And a lot of the times that we got to just spend time one-on-one, -on -one, just he and I, which in, later on in life, we got to do a lot of, most of you who are here now, I mean, you know, back in the day, I was kind of the little tag-along. Mom and Dad always made Lauren kind of drag me around wherever we went. So 
I think I've told most of you now that I just I appreciate all of your friendships and you know how you guys have always just kind of kept me close and how as we got older we, we were able to have some of those same friendships. But that was a great time. And the uh, best part about that was when uh, we got back to, to home, Dad and Lauren had to go to a conference and they were gone for a week or 10 days. And doggone it, little brother had to drive that Beamer all over Germany. Last story I want to share is one that involves Alan, who was up here, and myself. We'd come back from Germany, and we were on our way to Hawaii. Lauren and Mom and Dad had come back in from, from Germany. I was in Alaska. I flew in from Alaska and met him, and we were going. And I don't know how many people remember the diving board that was up on the Payette River just outside of Horseshoe Bend as you're going up there. Well, Alan and I used to swim there a lot when we were younger. And uh, Lauren and I had rented a little, at the time, brand new little Dodge Daytona red sports car. And I forget, Lauren had been out late with probably most of you guys in this room <laughs> the night before. Had a little bit of a hard night. Anyway, we're, uh, we're driving up to, this, to the board to go swimming. And um, we get just about to turn off. And Lauren had laid down in the back seat and went to sleep. And I told Alan, I said, Alan, when we get to that turnoff, I said, I'm going to lock these brakes up. And I said, I want you to scream at the top of your lungs. And so I did. And Lauren hit the floorboard and I'm so hard. And I mean, he just popped up instantly. And I mean, it was just like his eyes were this big. And I think he thought that he had probably met his maker at that time. But those were just kind of some of the fun things that I remember of Lauren. You know, growing up, being the little brother getting to hang out with him. I just always looked up to him. I always respected him. I was always jealous of all the good-looking girls he had, too. I wish I could spend the rest of the day telling more stories and experiences that Lauren and I had in our lives and what a great brother and what a great friend that Lauren was to me. But all of you in this room already know that or you wouldn't be here today. With that, I want to thank you all for coming again to the celebration of my brother's life and the life of one of the most wonderful men that any of us will have ever known. Thank you, and God bless you.